LV here with week two of my weekly DC Sports 87 eBay pickup vids. Almost every day I go through nearly every auction they have ending and I put snipes in for the auctions that I'm interested in. I usually put bids in for probably around 300 to 400 items each night and probably win just over 10% of them. So that means that the ones I did win, I'm getting a tremendous deal on them. Plus, I'd go broke if I won every single auction I put snipes on. Uh, it looks like I got three orders to go through with you guys today. Like last time, I'll go through each one, tell you what I paid in general, then shut off the camera, go through and see which ones are potentially gradable. Then I'll turn the camera back on and show you what percentage ended up being in nice gradable condition. But first, if you remember my week one vid... I won this one of one Ryan Johansson for only 36 bucks. And I one of one. I thought it would be fun to complete the rainbow. The Ryan Johansson rainbow. It only took me one hour to complete and under 90 bucks for everything. I found most of them on Com C and I found the gold on eBay. I, I honestly I miss the days when there weren't a million parallels and a rainbow could be completed in like five to seven cards here it is look at this beauty the silver the red is at a 35 the green is at a 25 the gold you all know the gold at a 10 and that one of one uh you know i just figure i'll probably list this whole rainbow on ebay for maybe twice what i paid and who knows make some money on this that's the goal okay let's get started All right, first one up oh. move these over a little bit okay looks like we have some slabs too My main goal is usually raw to grade, but you know, when you see good deals on cheap slabs, you gotta buy them. I'm not opposed to putting snipes in on those. Okay, here we go. First up, I like the look of these ultimate base. There's the base out of 750, but they come clean. White borders and edges and everything. I think I paid uh, three bucks for that, two or three bucks. This Demarcus Walker, he didn't quite pan out, but it's 10 out of 10 for two bucks. The Terrell Suggs was around two bucks, his jersey. The Josh Smith, he's actually getting some play time this year. It's numbered out of 10. I think it was only six bucks. Can't beat that. Russell Wilson, this was only five dollars. Numbered out of 49. The Eli paid up a little bit. It looked clean and it's a really cool card. He actually has a pretty decent market. I paid uh, 10 bucks on this one, 70, numbered out of 75. The Paul Pierce was only a couple bucks. This is numbered out of 100. The Durant was only a couple bucks. The Velocity, Optic, Chris Bosch. They didn't even list this as the silver parallel. Let's see the silver borders. It was only a buck. I did get some kind of Pokemon stuff. Every once in a while, I will submit when they have a non-sports specials for PSA and right now it's only like 13 or 14 bucks a card they do have a special going on so I don't know when I see them for good deals or cool ones I'll I'll grab them but I don't I don't know much about them but I know how to grade cards you know so I can tell the condi condition and everything like that these are only like three bucks each this one might have been a little more uh, I think I paid seven bucks on one of these look pretty cool uh, Ryan Anderson press proof out of 10 out of 10 is five bucks RJ Barrett was only like a buck or two for green. Same with the Luca was only two bucks. Here's the red for only two bucks for the Luca, and this one was only two bucks too. Eventually, those will be valuable down the road, or at least I know they're mass produced, but they'll be worth more than what they are now. Uh, this Julio is really cool. I wanted to get a good look at this. It's seven of ten. That actually means it's only ten for this particular set, only ten in the world of this parallel. So, a really cool card. It was only six bucks, I believe. The Markel Fultz, he's actually a decent player for the Magic. He's having an okay career, you know, better like better than like a Ben Simmons career. Uh, numbered out of 99, it was only two bucks. 
Here's an ant, Anthony Edwards. This was only $4 for a mosaic. Rookie. It is his rookie year, 2020. Tyrese Halliburton was only 5 bucks. This one was 4 bucks. This is rookie year. Tristan Wirfs. I like his stuff. Um, not numbered, but definitely short print for optic. And, uh, oh, maybe that one was the, the little more one. But either way, I didn't pay more than 7 bucks for one of these Pokemons. This is a very undervalued card. It's the Jason Tatum. It's second year Prism. I mean, just look at LeBron's Topps Chrome second year. That was just out of this world expensive during the boom pandemic. I know it's gone down, but I'm just saying eventually this will have some value, uh, especially the gold, or not the gold, but the uh, the color match, the green, the Celtics green. And it was only $4, I believe. Let's keep rolling. We're cruising. Chris Paul, what's this number to add to? Out of $1.99, probably only a couple bucks. The De'Aaron Fox Express Lane. Uh, it's not numbered, but cool card, right? This one I overpaid. Um, yeah, I think it's numbered out of 10, yeah. 8 out of 10, but look at the color match. It's beautiful, that blue with the gold matching that Pacers Uni. I know he plays for the Kings now, but some cards you just pay up for um, because they're pretty desirable. I call this a cool card, um, and you got to really find those cool cards because those are the ones that are gradable, and usually... Um, they are low numbered, they are color matches, just parallels, are cool images, stuff like that. Makes them desirable. Uh, Chris Paul, numbered out of 149, probably only a couple bucks. The Zion, I think it was four bucks for the far out. It is his rookie year. Here is a second year, it was only like a buck or two. He looks pretty overweight in that one. I'm glad he slimmed down and had a good year. Um, sad he got hurt. Uh, that was his last kind of play-in game. Anyway, one out of 149, uh, a couple bucks. I'll take that. Chris Paul, numbered out of 49. I think this one was closer to five bucks. And we'll quickly go over some graded slabs. This was only two or three dollars for the Tyler Hero Silver Prism. I know it's draft picks, but two or three bucks, I'm I'm buying. Uh, this Russell Wilson, I think, was around 14 or 15 bucks. Green scope out of 75. This Corbin Carroll this seems cheap. Tell me if it's cheap. Um, I think I only paid $25 for this. I know it's a draft picks prism. It's, you know, unlicensed, no logo or anything, but I don't know. 25 bucks seems cheap. So happy I picked that one up. And the Justin Herbert, I think, it was only around 33 bucks for this Disco Prism. I know it's an 8. I can tell by the centering, but I like it. This one, I am excited to look at closer. I know it's a 6, but sometimes PSA can hammer cards unnecessarily and might do better with other grading companies. So that was kind of my thinking of this card. I'm going to have to take a look at it. You know, say I send it to an SGC, and it gets an 8 or higher, you know? It's the rare, I love this card, it's the rare, this is rookie year, 1997, rare gold embossed look. See that? It's a really cool card. Um, 2012, first year of Prism, this is the Silver Prism, Ryan Tannehill, he had an okay career, and it was only 14, 15 bucks for the Mint 9, and the Robert Griffin was actually only $11, so worth it for me. That, oh, one more, and the Carson Palmer, nope, you probably thought Derek Carr, no, Carson Palmer, I'd rather have Carson Palmer cards, Silver, this was only 7 bucks, 6 or 7 bucks. Graded a mid nine. Okay, I'll keep going through the other ones. All right, keep it moving. I'm really excited to get these cards out of their cases and see which ones are gradable. You know, that's just the fun part of the fun part for me. That's why I love grading cards so much. The whole process is fun. Okay. Uh, two out of three, Isaiah Simmons. Don't know much about him, but it was only five bucks. Yes, out of three. I'll take it. Uh, Russell Wilson, out of 99. <laughs> Hillary Clinton, I know, it's a weird purchase. But, you know, that election year was just kind of 
well-known, renowned <laughs> for Trump and Hillary and all that stuff. And this is the one of one is the preview of the decision. I think the bench warmers make these cards. Uh, I'm not quite sure who makes them. Uh, anyway, um, I just thought it was an interesting card. And look, look at the numbering. I can't believe they got away with that. That's that's insane to me. 666, the devil sign. Um, yeah, I, I don't know how why they did that. That's crazy to me. Anyway, a one of one. I figured it should sell well. Eventually, I think I paid 30 bucks for it. Somewhere around there. 32 bucks. Um, Juan Soto. The Youth Quake. I love the look of this Youth Quake design from the 96-97. I always remember the basketball. The Kobe and all that stuff. Anyway, that was only 2 bucks. Justin Hardy. He didn't pan out, but look at that sick patch. Out of 49 this was only 2 bucks. The Giannis. I love the optic inserts. You know that about me. Fantasy Stars. And this is numbered out of 25 I think I paid around 14 bucks. Maybe a little more on that one. I forget. Maybe closer to 20 Either way, it was it was worth it. I like that card. Uh, Giannis Select. Not numbered. I paid probably 3 or 4 bucks. More Pokemon was probably around 2 bucks. Um, this DeMar DeRozan is a really... This is, again, what I call a cool card. Look at the image. Look at the color match with the Bulls Uni. And it's low numbered. Out of 1, out of 49. That makes it even better. So it would sell well graded. I hope it's gradable. I think I only paid five bucks. Some Caleb Williams was only two bucks. Mike Piazza going, going, gone was only numbered out of 25. And that was only four bucks, I believe. The Jamar, Jabari Smith. This is an interesting one. So occasionally each night I'll, I will make mistakes because I am flying. I have 400 snipes to put in and... And to, and to go through every auction. So I'm flying through these. I don't want to spend three hours of my day doing this. So I, I condense it into like one hour. So I'm doing it really, really fast. Um, and I, it looks like I, I won this for around eight or nine dollars. I was like, whoa, why would I pay that? I just, this is more like a two or three dollar card. It is number out of 50. So then I looked at my snipe, what I put in, and I put in, I looked there, I think it was like $300 that I put in on accident on this card. So, uh, luckily, I only want it for $8. <laughs> um, Russell Wilson, number 25, Immaculate. That one was only probably 3 or 4 bucks. What else we got? We got some Paul George. This one's numbered out of 99 This was only a couple bucks. Uh, here's an Ultimate Base. We got Vince Carter. This was only a couple bucks. All right, the Darius Shaq Leonard was only like 10 bucks. I think it's numbered out of 20 too. We got the turbocharged Tom Brady. I like the look of this card. It was only two or three bucks. And the Shaq. This is one of my favorite cards growing up. And when I was a little older, probably 10, 15 years ago, I actually found this raw copy in perfect condition. I graded it and it got a PSA 10. I, I don't know what the pop count is now. I'll put it up there. But at the time, there was only like one or two in the whole world and I, I just thought it was the coolest thing i needed money probably at the time and i ended up selling it for 200 bucks probably i i can't imagine what it's worth now so condition sensitive all the edges so i'm not expecting this to be gem i just thought it was cool so at a couple bucks i i loved this card uh rj hampton numbered out of 49 this was only two bucks and the the white side this is numbered out of 10 so it's kind of the gold base and this one was only three bucks, I believe. We're cruising through this order. James Enos, look at these patches. Number at twenty-five. This was only probably two bucks, two fifty. The Gronk. Um, I hope this one's gradable. I really do. Uh, oh, definitely not gonna be <laughs> gradable. That's okay. It happens. Number at sixty. It was cheap. It was probably four bucks, four or five bucks. Luka Doncic. That's only a couple bucks. And some Jokic silver that was only probably two or three dollars. Um, more Jokic NBA City blue looks off centered already, but it's at two bucks, it's still worth it. CJ McCollum, uh, numbered at 49. He struggled in that play in game one. Um, here's the splash. I like the look of these splash. This must be the purple prism. Uh, good looking card. I think it's only four bucks. Ooh, the label's off a little bit. That's okay. 
see if I can get <laughs> eventually get it back up in there. We're getting there. Oh well, I'll do that later. We're close, and it's a pristine. I remember David Johnson? I mean, he was a fantasy stud. Um, if you played fantasy football, but you know, number down ninety nine. It's the high tech pristine ten. Um, I know he didn't turn out to have a Hall of Fame career. It's hard for running backs. They, uh, have, like, usually have two or three peak prime years, and then they're just kind of done. So, um, unfortunately, he will not be a Hall of Famer, and his cards will not be going up anytime soon. But I got this cheap enough for, like, nine bucks. Nine bucks for this? Seemed worth it. I'll probably sell it for 25 bucks eventually, you know? Uh, keep going. Like I mentioned, the Tatum second year, the Shea second years, they're so cheap. This is a silver PSA 10. I got it for 27 bucks, I believe. I don't know. Just seems cheap, All right? Maybe not. Bradley Beal, this is the marquee, man. During the pandemic, these were probably going 50, 60 bucks. I think I got it for four bucks for a PSA 9, Bradley Beal, rookie year. Uh, Shake Milton, um, you know, I'm not sure where he's where he's at right now. I think he's New York. I think he's on the Knicks. They picked him up. Uh, hopefully they utilize him. He's actually a pretty good player. Um, this is numbered out of 10, Gem Mint. Uh, I think I paid around 24 bucks for it. I don't think his career is over yet. And, you know, I think he's a good bench player. So if he kind of does well for the Knicks or switches teams, he might have a little more hobby love quickly. Uh, Magic Johnson, this was only $4 for 1990 Flair PSA 9. This one, and so another mistake I made. Um, so DC Sports also made an error, but I'm just going to live with it because it's mainly my error. I'm going to put it on me. Um, they In the description, the, the title, the main description, they put Jaden McDaniels. So the brothers, Jalen and Jaden. So Jalen's the one pretty much kind of out of the league. This is Jalen. And Jaden is the good, <laughs> well, he's still in the league. He's doing really well for the Timberwolves. He's a high energy defensive uh powerhouse he's 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 a defensive stud really he's playing really well anyway um in the description it said Jaden mcdaniels and i didn't bother i just quickly saw the picture i, I assumed it was Jaden mcdaniels but it was not it's his brother Jalen. huge price difference uh, i put in a snipe and won this for 30 dollars. <laughs> it would have been a steal if it were Jaden, <laughs> but number out of 10 it's his brother uh, so, I mean, my mistake, I should have looked at the pictures. You always look at the picture. I just went off the title. I was hurrying up. Um, so, disappointed there. Um, but I imagine it's still, like, a $15 card. Uh, so, a $15 hit for my mistake. It, it just is what it is. All right, let's go over the third one. All right, last order. I don't think there's anything big in this one. I mean, there hasn't been anything major in any of these. But there's still some cool cards. Okay. Um, we got a lot of Joey Chestnut, the goat, the goat of competitive eaters. This is his rookie card out of Alan Ginter. I think it was only six bucks for the pair. Look at that image with all the hot dogs. This would sell pretty well one day around 4th of July time when the Nathan's hot dog championships go on. Uh, I don't know. It was worth it to me. I saw a documentary on him and I found it interesting. Um, Dwight Howard, it's his rookie year. This was only a buck or two. 2004 Bowman Chrome, the Gronk, I like the way this looks, matches up with his uni, the die cut white, uh, not numbered, but really cool card, um, we got James Harden, this one has been around five or six bucks on, it is numbered out of 50, which I like, all right, we got this Shaq Cheap, I think it was only like a buck 50, numbered out of 199, it is draft picks, and, but it almost looks like a color match to me, even though that LSU uni is purple and gold, kind of, I uh, still like the card. The Durant was only a couple bucks. This is the Brown Monopoly, numbered out of 249 The Luca, a good-looking card. It's only a couple bucks. The Kaleidoscope, look at this. I, I like this shine to it. This was only $2 for the AD. The LeBron James, I always like that image. Um, looks a little off-center already, but it was only 4 bucks. Uh, ben Parker, this is a cool one. Spider-Man's uncle, is that right? Number 25, Ben Parker, Spectacular Rave. This was only $6, seemed cheap to me. Um, what we got? Kamara, I don't, you know, I don't do much soccer, but it was only $2, number out of 50, Topps Chrome Gold. Let me know 
if any soccer fans out there, if he's any good. Ed Oliver. This is the retail reg, super short print. It was only two or three dollars. Dirk was only two or three dollars. Winter stays, and it is low numbered. And one out of eighty-five. Nice. Again, cool card, color match. That's what I'm talking about. Jalen Darden. Um, ooh, this is cool. Kind of like a Pandora, right? And we're out of twenty. We're out of twenty. This was only three or four bucks. John Butler, he came in, he's playing for the Wizards. He came in towards the end of the year when the games didn't matter as much, but he was killing it. And we're at a 199. This is a Devin Booker kaleidoscope, kind of like the AD. But Devin Booker, this was only a couple bucks. Same with the Butler. Uh, Kawhi Leonard was only two bucks. Numbered out of 155. This one might have been three dollars, I remember. The Mario Ellie, I, I liked him when he was on the Blazers, actually. But the famous 1996 Topps Chrome, Kobe's rookie year, this is the Refractor set. I used to um, almost had the set complete in graded form back in the day, but I had to sell it. Luckily, I sold it kind of during the pandemic, so I got good price for them. Um, but yeah, a lot of two is only five bucks for these two. They look off-center, but still worth it. Joel Embiid was only like a buck. Number to 199. The Malcolm Brogdon, he needs to get away from the Blazers. Number 39, that is hurting his market completely. Almost can already see damage. I don't know that's on the case. Uh, Jalen Brunson, you all know he's having a good year. Number 249. DiVincenzo, he's playing with Brunson. Um, It's really cool. I saw that image. Who, where do they play? Villanova? Anyway, he was with him on Villanova. Same with Hart and everyone. is really cool. Um, the one they're playing so well, they have good chemistry. Uh, number at 175, uh, Chris Dabbs, numbered out of 60. This is only a couple bucks. The DiVincenzo was only a couple bucks. And Sonogu, Sonogo, <laughs> anyway, numbered out of 99. He came in towards the end of the year and started playing really well for the, maybe he's like third string behind Drummond for, on the Bulls. Um, uh, Xavier Tillman. I think he should be a starter somewhere. I think he's pretty talented. That was only probably two bucks. This Barry Sanders this is pretty cool. I remember these, a silver flasher. So it is kind of a parallel. Um, hopefully it's gradable. I doubt it, but you never know. The Jokic Monopoly is only a couple bucks. The Hauser, um, he's on the Celtics. He's doing okay. He can shoot. That was only, I think, a buck fifty. Um, Javante Taylor, don't know much of him, but it's nowhere out of fifty. Gold Auto, I think that was only $3. Malcolm Brogdon, number out of 10. This was only $5. The Tyler Hero, it's got the basketball, kind of emoticon look. Oh, we got two, nice. <laughs> Short print, I'm assuming. They're only a buck or two. Same with this one. I don't even remember winning two of these, but I did, apparently. Uh, this one's the least numbered, right? Number out of 75, a couple bucks. Steph Curry, this was probably three dollars. More Butler was probably a buck or two. Uh, Mike Conley, here's a kind of like a Mojo Prism out of twenty-five. That one was only three dollars, I believe. LeBron James was around four bucks. Um, kind of the sparkle look to this, I like. Uh, it's probably only three bucks. Uh, paid a little bit on this Zion because it's color match purple with the kind of Pellies purpley uniform blue i like it a lot uh it's rookie year it was only 20 bucks so i don't know possibly worth it matt parnes uh that was only a buck or two too two bucks for a auto gem mint and finally i don't know anything about this grading company dcs i have no idea it's coming out it's definitely coming out numbered out of 25 actually it looks pretty good condition too i wonder why they gave it a nine we'll see we all crack it out towards the end here. Uh, it was only five bucks. So there you go. All right. Now I'll quickly go through all of them, show you the percentage that are gradable. Okay. All right. Here they all are. I went through all of them. They're all sorted. Uh, this week of cards was not as successful, I would say. I, you know, I didn't win anything big. It was a lot of lower end. Um, and my urgent grade pile, the pile that I will grade right away, was kind of small. There's only six cards. Um, but they are pretty cool cards. The Sabonis Gold out of 10 did look like a gem 10. And the Eli Manning out of 75 looked clean, looked like a 10. And the Giannis looked great, looked like a 10 out of 25. 
And that nice looking DeRozan uh, color match looked like a 10. And the Darius Shaq Leonard might not be worth grading, but it was so nice out of 20. And that color match Dirk. So nothing huge, you know, 1 out of 85. But most of the cards fell into the category of um, nice condition, mint nines or better. All of the uh, Pokemon look great, but they, these cards, they just don't have enough value to grade at this point in time, so I kind of just have to tuck them away. So they're not doing me any favors right now, but I was impressed by the general condition as a whole for these cards. So this stack, there's actually 72 cards with these ones that were were good. You know, mint nines are better. So that that's a really positive sign. But, like I said, they're just not worth grading at this point in time. Um, that one's close. I mean, maybe if Tatum wins the championship, the Curry was close to grading. Stuff like this, I won't grade. I just wanted to show you that it was in the mint pile, you know, because Justin Hardy, <laughs> you know, he's not going to do anything spectacular. He's just not even in the league and didn't have a good career. So, there's no point grading. There's no demand, you know. But... You know, that's a fun card, that Turbo Brady. That was actually an 8. It looked like an 8 to me, which is pretty solid for a foil. So it was worth, worth keeping in this stack. And the Joey Chestnuts look good. Um, I was surprised they look like Gem 10s. So who knows? One day maybe you'll see me grading them. The Kaleidoscopes are gorgeous cards. They really are. But they're just not worth grading at this point in time. Um, so there you go. Um, also, the, the Silver Berry looked like an 8, but I put it in the stack because it's so condition sensitive. Um, yeah, the Heroes, the Curry was close to putting in my Urgent, but no. I mean, they kind of struggled there down the stretch. Uh, so, the this is the damaged or not gradable pile. Kind of 8s and below, and there were 26 of these. So, in percentage-wise... It was only about 27% of the raw cards I bought in order were ungradable. And that leaves 73% were gradable. So my goal is always over 50% gradable. So I did very well in that aspect. Um, here's, I'll show you kind of off-center, normal thick card wear. <laughs> um, the Josh Smith, I think, had a ding on the back. Um, Off-centered. Uh, you know, I don't understand these protective i'll show you so it's easy you can peel the front off and i'm sure the front looks great but then you go to the back and you have all this just chewed up marks and they all kind of have this but you can't peel off the back so it just kind of makes it ungradable and unfortunately the ant had big kind of indents dimples right there you can kind of see right there ungradable the steve nash had Big corner ding right there. See it? Big corner ding there. Um, just more thick card wear. The, the Gronk actually wasn't that bad, but it does have edge wear. Very noticeable there. Ungradable, off center on the Jokic. Normal thick card problems. The Hillary was off centered. The Juan Soto was off centered. The Mike Piazza for being in 2023, I'm shocked. It had these like rough kind of surface yeah, little surface scratches that I just wasn't a fan of. Um, the Jabari was off-centered. Paul George has some dimples. The Shaq was off-centered. The LeBron was way off-center, thinner on the left. Uh, the Ben Parker actually was in pretty good condition, but it has that normal kind of... Um, skybox wave chipping and all that kind of stuff kind of like pmgs uh and some white showing some z force chipping um this is roller marks from hell uh look at all those so that's definitely ungradable to me there's a very deep roller marks uh so don't don't grade those ones the pandora just had a surface mark um the mario ellie's way off center you can see and the Sunogu had a pretty big corner dean right there. And the Xavier Tillman had my dreaded indents on the back. You know I hate those with a passion. 
<laughs> there it was. All right, you spot it right there. It's huge. I mean, I'm not really great at Tillman anyway, but just pointing it out so you can see. The Jokic had a surface indent too. Yeah, look at that one right over there by the Nuggets logo. It's a pretty big one. And the sparkle just had a corner ding. So there you go. Um, other than that, the graded cards I can just sell. Uh, I did crack out two graded cards. I cracked out the Tim Duncan EX to Mint 6. And it doesn't look so much better out of a 6 slab. Uh, in a nice magnetic gold case. Um, I'll show you the card. No major flaws. This card is just condition sensitive, you know. Um, look at it. It looks pretty good. But, I mean, all these PSA is going to hammer. They're going to hammer some of the corners. But look at the front. It looks pretty solid. I'll show it where they really got you. Right there. See that? That's where they're going to get you. Um, and some wear right there. Other than that, the bottom two corners look okay, but nothing major. It's just kind of how the card came. So I still like the card a lot. And finally, that DC DCS grading company, uh, that Metcalf out of 25, actually looked really good. It, it looked gem to me, so I'm shocked a company like this would give it a 9. You would think, uh, you know, a grading company of this tier, if a card was looked like an 8 or better, they would just gem it, right? <laughs> so I'm shocked. Anyway, pleasantly surprised that one came out clean. Um, I'll probably put it in that pile. And the Duncan I'll probably just sell raw at some point or Comp C or something like that. And most of these, this ungradable stack will be sold off on Com C. You'll be surprised. This kind of stuff does well on there. Uh, okay, I hope you enjoy this video. Uh, I've already been winning a ton for next week's video. And they're they're better cards. So... I'm excited to share those ones with you. All right. Thanks for watching. I appreciate it.